Hello friends, hola amigos. Today it is more than a year than I drive in this Qashqai and I think it was time to have a little review video. Welcome to this video. <music> June uh, 2020, this is a really uh, strange year with COVID-19. I uh, accidentally bought this Qashqai, that wasn't uh, the plan, but I went in with my white Qashqai G11A to having my uh, winter tires changed. And I saw this Qashqai version, it's the G11B Entec edition. And I uh, really loved it with those black rims and the glossy black details on the mirror caps the roof rails in front um, the windows are uh, dark as well the lights are a little bit darker as well and i couldn't um, help myself for asking an offer and uh, i couldn't refuse this offer so there i was with all new Qashqai so on the outside no big changes only for this um special edition with all those black uh, details that make the car really look nice as you can see this Qashqai version already has all the bodywork painted in the same color it doesn't have those black skirts anymore it is a full LED edition it is really nice to have I have to say really nice vision at night time and in the back no big changes from the previous Qashqai it doesn't have this black skirt neither and it is one of the few Qashqai's that doesn't has those metal plates little shout out to my Qashqai dealer great workshop so the tail lights has changed a little bit they don't have the big white part in the middle shark fin antenna nice option I hesitated to install the shark fin antenna on my previous Qashqai that still has this antenna rod but uh, this car came in so then on the inside uh, as you can see it is quite familiar and new in the same time especially this smart little steering wheel is different but all the rest looks quite the same here again all black details so what i really like on this version you have all the buttons with icons all the windows are completely automatic so when you hit the button once it goes down automatically and up again for all the windows the previous Qashqai didn't have that and a really nice feature as well is that the power windows still work a few seconds after having shutting down the motor so whenever parked and you want to open the window you can still do that so one of the greatest options on this car and that really makes a difference i think with the previous Qashqai is the newer connect version with carplay on the previous Qashqai i was almost on the point on changing the connect unit with a, a sinus smart system but um now I have CarPlay still if this screen isn't um, isn't great I have all my applications I have Apple Music uh, Apple Maps so that's really uh, really nice and the other solution I really like in this car is the Pro Pilot system you activate the Pro Pilot system and the car drives my automatic so um, the steering wheel does the job by itself you have to hold it but I hold it with my knee and this way the car drives itself so the thing I hesitated the most about was the motor. I had a 1.6, 163 horsepower uh, Nissan motor. And here I have the Renault 1.4, 140 horsepower motor. And I was afraid that the motor wasn't uh, strong enough. So in the beginning I made a video to compare both. And I have to say it didn't let me down uh, since fuel consumption is the same i think i have to say that this one uses a little bit more fuel than the previous Qashqai but uh, it is almost the same uh, maybe it's only the the use that i had since i have this car uh, with covid we didn't drove a lot then nice addition as well 
this Clash Kai has a double USB port in the back. Still doesn't have air vents. That's a pity. I saw that the G12 Qashqai has air vents. Eureka! So then when we compare both Qashqai versions on noises, I have to say that I don't have this wind noise on the side mirrors any longer on this Qashqai. However, uh, and I don't know if it is my car or more uh, G11B Qashqais, the window uh, tends to vibrate from time to time so uh, it's quite annoying when you drive you're this little vibration and whenever you're holding your arm against it stops vibrating then another well-known issue on Qashqai was the talking sound in the back I don't have that uh, problem any longer on this version I had it on my white Qashqai however I have some ticking noise over here Maybe it will be in the next video to find out where that's come from. I saw a video from Cars vs Cars that completely removed this air vent, taped it in with some foam tape and put it back in. And for him that worked this way. On the UK forum somebody found a panel that wasn't attached over here and attached it and it helped for him. I am tended to say that the noise comes from the upper side on the of the glove compartment i think there's a little panel there that wiggles around so maybe one day i will open it up see if i can fix it in place and uh, resolve the problem like that i don't have any cracking sounds on the dashboard some uh, especially early g11a owners had uh, cracking sound problems that isn't the case on this cash guy So the dimensions of the car didn't change, G11A, B are quite similar, so you can still use your accessories as you are used to, so I can still use my roof bars, I can still use my winter wheels, so that's quite neat for those who are changing between those versions as I did and uh, want to use their accessories. So my conclusions about this car, I really enjoy driving it. I did enjoy driving my previous Qashqai as well. I think it's a little bit more mature with some options better thought of as the power windows, it's uh, semi-automatic driving, the car play. Still lack some options, typical Nissan decisions, but okay. I really enjoy driving it. If you have a G11A Qashqai, I don't think it is worth to upgrade to a G11B as they are almost the same. If you still drive G10 Qashqai, then I think if the G12 is out of budget, then this Qashqai version is really the way to go. So I hope you like this little review and I hope to see into your questions in the comments. Don't forget to share and subscribe and see you in the next video. Bye bye.